Hello fellow traders, Nadia Bar Trading uh, coming to you. And in this video, I just want to do a short video of some tips and tricks, I guess I'm calling it, for Apex evaluation accounts. And the reason that I'm doing this video is during my live streams, um, I have just gotten a lot of questions uh, regarding a lot of the things that we're, we'll be talking about here. And I've been kind of surprised that some people, um, I guess, don't know about some of this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to share. I'm going to share what kind of what I've learned um, using Apex and the evaluation accounts and the discount. This video is only just, we're just focusing on the evaluation accounts and just some, yeah, it's just some tips and tricks that I've learned. And I just want to pass them on to you. Hopefully, you will find this helpful. And uh, hopefully, it'll save you money. Um, that's my that's the bottom line, I guess, that I want to do is save you money and make sure that you're not spending money where you really don't need to. So that is the goal of this video. Let's just dive right in. I'm going to try. I'm going to try and keep this video relatively short. Um, but like, <coughs> excuse me, I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. Um, tips and tricks of evaluation accounts for Apex Trader Funding. All right, first and foremost, I want to just briefly go over this again. This is actually something I didn't know until just recently. So you can use a trade of, so let me just back up. When you sign up, with Apex Trader Funding, and you go to buy a an evaluation account, you have to choose if you want to buy a Tradeavate account or a Rhythmic account, okay? Now, the reason that it's split differently is because the Tradeavate account actually is more expensive. Um, the Tradeavate account, uh, man, I'm not, I don't want to say how much more expensive it is. Uh, check out the website, but the trade of eight accounts are a little bit more expensive. So they are split out and you have to choose between one and the other. Now, the thing to really know here and make sure that you understand is you can use a trade of eight account and you can still trade it on the Ninja Trader platform. But you cannot, you cannot do, and if you purchase a Rhythmic uh, account, you cannot trade on Tradeabate, if that makes sense. So basically, if you buy a Tradeabate account, you can trade on Tradeabate, obviously, but you can also trade on Ninja Trader if you so choose. I did not know that. I thought the Tradeabate account, you could only trade on Tradeabate. Um, I, I was not aware until just this past week that you can also trade a trade of eight account on Ninja Trader. Um, but you cannot, if you purchase the Rhythmic account, you can only trade it on the Ninja Trader platform. You cannot trade it on the trade of eight account. So that is why that is very important for when you go to choose your account, which one you want, that you do it, you know, make sure you choose, choose wisely because once you've done it, you can't go back. Um, so that's the first kind of tip. Um, then going on to, uh, the next slide. So this first one is like, so I'm affiliated with Apex, which what that means is I only, I get a percentage disc, I get a percentage of the sale when someone uses my code or when they use my affiliate link. Um, and so I will... I can't see who uses my code, but I can see which accounts were purchased. Okay. So I can see basically if someone uses my code and you purchased a 25K account, it just tells me, you know, I think I get, it's like three or $4. Um, but it says 25K trade of eight or rhythmic account. That's like the only thing it'll tell me. So, but I also know when someone does a reset. So if you do your reset, that 
And you've been, if you use my affiliate link and if you do a reset, I will see it. And let me, it pains me. It hurts my soul when I see someone do a reset. Okay. With Apex, you should never be doing a reset unless the only time I can say that it makes sense is if someone has the $300,000 account and there's only an 80% sale going on at the time. I think that is the only time that it would actually make sense to do a reset because otherwise, for example, a reset is $80. And you can buy, for example, a 50K account with the 80% discount is like $33. So obviously, if you blow your evaluation account, don't do a reset. Um, just buy another account. You're saving yourself almost $50. So that's the first tip I want to give. And that it, it just really hurts me when I see someone do a reset. So that's like the most important tip is don't do a reset, just buy another account. Um, you'll save yourself $50. Okay, next tip is taking take advantage of the reoccurring discounts. Let me expand a little bit on that. Uh, this is a little bit of a, and some of the other tips are kind of related to this as well. And I'm going to try and do my best to explain what I mean. So most of Apex's sales, for example, the sale they are running right now is an 80% discount the first month and 80% discount of any reoccurring months. Now here a couple weeks ago, um, they had a 90% sale and the 90% was only for the first month and then the reoccurring months were 80% off. Um, I have yet to see them do a sale where it's 90% off the first month and 90% going forward. Um, I've never seen them do a sale like that. Maybe they will in the future, but um, basically 90% off is probably the biggest sale that you'll ever get. And that is usually only for that first month. Now, what I say, what I'm talking about on this reoccurring discount is, so for example, let's say you purchase an 80% discount evaluation today. And let's say, you know, you try your best in two weeks from now, you blow the account. Okay. So when you blow the account, now, obviously, like I just mentioned previously, don't do a reset. Just let that account go. Okay. Let that account go. And if you do need another valuation account, um, then you would purchase another one, I guess. But regardless, if I would recommend, this is how I used, this is how I did it. I would not cancel that account if it was an account that was a reoccurring 80% discount again. So I'm actually just going to go to the next slide. Um, so this is, the, these slides kind of all go together, but I'm just going to show all of this. This is going to be easier for me, sorry. Okay, now we can just talk through all the tips, but let's focus on this kind of this, these, a couple of these are kind of linked together. That's why I want to show them all. But so if you blow the account, um, obviously you could do a couple of different things. You, you could just go into your dashboard and cancel that account. Now, the reason I would say don't do that yet is I would always wait and I would set a reminder on my calendar just to make sure I don't forget like two days before you were before that reoccurring charge is set to go through. Um, I would wait until like two days before and then I would just reassess. Basically, what you're looking for then is in two weeks just to see if Apex is currently running a sale. So when that reoccurring charge is about to come through and Apex currently isn't running a sale at all. So if they're not running a sale, that's when, and this is only assuming that you still need an evaluation account, okay? Obviously, if you don't need an evaluation account at that, at that time, just cancel it. But this is assuming that you still need an evaluation account. So if 
if they're not running a sale at the time, then it's obviously very beneficial to allow that reoccurring charge to go through because you basically have another account at 80% off. And that purchase, when it goes through, will serve also as a reset. So when that charge goes through, you will have a new account, a new $50,000 account all ready to go. So it serves as a reset when you get charged again. So that's something that you really need to understand and remember. And I had a couple people uh, last week that did not know that. So again, that's why I'm doing this video. Um, then with, okay, so with that in mind, Let's say, for example, you come and it's time for a reoccurring charge to go through. And at the time, they're actually running a 90% discount sale. Okay, so if they are, now you want to go in and cancel that reoccurring charge. Because obviously, you can save basically $16 if it, for a 50k account. Instead of paying $33 for a reoccurring 80% charge, you can cancel that 80% charge and just buy a fresh account for 90% off, which is a $16 savings. So again, it's all about what kind of sale is going on when that reoccurring charge comes through. And that's why I don't recommend canceling the account until just a couple days before that reoccurring charge comes through so that you understand what kind of sale they're running at the time. So, but obviously if they're running an 80% sale at the time and you have an 80% reoccurring charge come through, then there's really no difference. Um, obviously. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay. Then the other one was just, uh, this should be pretty obvious, but trade micros, if you have reached the profit threshold, um, basically what it says, if you, you know, for in an apex valuation account, you need to trade it for seven days. So if you've reached your profit threshold by day three, then day from day four, five, six, and seven, you can just flip contracts. It is allowed on an evaluation account. You can, you know, just go into a micro contract, get in and get out right away and that will count as a traded day and it'll protect your balance instead of doing a mini, you know, and have something go wrong and all of a sudden you're below the threshold. Um, you're allowed to do that on an evaluation account. Now, when we get to a funded account, that's a whole different story, different rules, and you're not allowed to flip contracts or you're limited on how much you can do that. So... Okay, now holding a past, so now the next tip is holding a past evaluation account until you're ready for it. Um, this should be kind of a rare occurrence, but for example, um, with evaluation accounts, once you pass them, so if you pass them and then basically you've reached the profit threshold and you have traded it for seven days, at the end of that seven days, you will get paperwork from Apex to fill out. And part of that is that you need to pay, between, you need to choose between the monthly, which I think is $85 a month, or you need to pay the one-time fee. For example, for a 50K account, it's $140. Now, that changes based on the account size, but you do need to pay that amount and you have to pay that fee before in 48 hours from receiving that paperwork. So that is very important. Um, now, I have spoken to support. And if, for example, you get the paperwork and you're away for a week or whatever, it might be like a special circumstances. Um, you can reach out to support and request more time. Um, but, but basically, the example would be let's just say you did poor planning and you pass your valuation account, but you're really not ready to spend the money for the funded account. I mean, I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, but if it is, or 
I even I had personally a an example where I actually have more. So Apex, you're only allowed to have 20 accounts. And I actually have more evaluation account passed or I'm past the profit threshold. Um, but I actually have 20 accounts already. Um, that's a long story. We won't get into that. But basically, if you get into a situation where you have reached the profit threshold on an evaluation account, but you're really not ready for the account as a funded account, then just trade it up to six days. Okay, but don't trade it for seven days. As long as you just trade it to six days, you can keep it at six days and then you won't receive the paperwork. And, you know, once you're ready for it, you can trade it for that one final day for that seventh day. And then you'll receive your paperwork and you'll be good to go. Thing of note, thing to remember here is um, you will get charged again if, you know, that reoccurring billing cycle comes through in the meantime. Now, if you're at the profit threshold or above, you know, if you're above the 50,000, actually, no, if, as long as you're not a blown account, that it won't reset your account. Just to clarify, basically, the only time a reoccurring charge will reset your account is if you have blown the account. Like if the account is in admin only mode and you'll get charged again, the reoccurring cycle, then it will be then it will be reset. Otherwise, it will not be reset. Okay, so, and I just realized I forgot to add one tip here. I'm going to talk about this tip now. And it is regarding that reoccurring charge and getting reset. So, there are there is a time when it actually does make sense to YOLO an evaluation account. And I know a lot of people you know, don't like hearing that word. And usually it's not in, in trading. We do not want to YOLO accounts. That is not a good idea. And this is not what I'm recommending, but hear me out. There are, a, there is a specific kind of time when that actually does make sense. And when it makes sense is, for example, let's say you have a $50,000 account. You've been trying to get it funded and you are at day 28 of trading that account and you have two more days and then it will be, you'll be, you'll get charged again, that reoccurring monthly fee. So because in two days you have basically a free reset coming up. Okay. Cause you're going to get charged again. The only th difference is if, you know, if you blow the account before that two days, then it'll serve as a reset. If you don't blow the account within two days, you'll get charged again that monthly fee, but your balance won't change. So when it makes sense, let's say two days before that reoccurring fee and your balance is below that $50,000, that's when it makes sense to go a little bit bigger size and kind of either blow the account so that you get a free reset and you get a balance again of $50,000 or, you know, you would get it above that $50,000 threshold. Um, and then obviously that would, that would be the best result, but it wouldn't make sense to be $500 close to your trailing drawdown and just keep it there and then get billed again for it, but not actually get the benefits of a reset. So again, I hope that makes sense. So there is a time when a certain point of the month when you're getting really close to getting charged again and you're below the $50,000 balance, basically when you're in drawdown, where it does make sense to kind of go big and either get out of the hole or blow the account because you're going to get charged again. If you blow the account, it's really okay. You're going to basically get a free reset and you can start again at that $50,000 balance with a fresh $2,500 trailing threshold. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm going way longer on this video than I planned. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. We talked about trading micros, holding a past evaluation account until you're ready for it. We talked about that. Uh, next thing is don't go crazy with purchasing evaluation accounts. 
So I wanted to just talk about this as a kind of a final tip. And this is in regards to, I feel like some people struggle. Um, and I even struggle with this in a, at, a, at one point. And it's kind of going a little bit crazy with buying evaluation accounts. And it's like with 80, 90% discounts, having, you know, the, the, it's not that much money. And we just kind of cycle through them. And all of a sudden we look at the end of the month and we see that we've purchased 30 evaluation accounts. And, you know, it's a little bit crazy maybe. And again, this depends on your budget, whatever. Um, but a tip is that I actually did in the very beginning um, of when I started out was I waited until we had, till they had, Apex had an 80% discount and then I purchased an evaluation account on the first Monday of the month. Okay. And then I waited and I, even if I didn't need it, I waited and I purchased another evaluation account the first, the second Monday of the month. And then if, if there wasn't a, a, a sale going on, then I would just have to wait. But basically I waited until the next sale was going on. And it was important to have a sale where it was a reoccurring 80% discount. And I waited until like there was a sale going on the third Monday of the month. And then I would purchase another one and then just waited again until there was a sale going on during the fourth Monday of the month. And I purchased another evaluation account. Now what that did was I basically limited myself to only having one evaluation account per week. So I only allowed myself one evaluation account per week and I waited until I basically I had an 80% discount reoccurring every month and it was every week I had one coming through. So when I finally had everything done, at the Monday of every week, I got a new evaluation account. You know, because if the previous month, if the previous month I blew the evaluation account, I would just let it go and not do anything. And then the next Monday or sometimes it would change a little bit. It wouldn't be Mondays, but 30 days from there, I would get that one re reoccurring fee and I would get a fresh new evaluation account. Now, if I pass that account, then I would purchase, wait for the next you know, sale, 80% sale for that month, for that week again. And then I would buy it again. So that's just kind of how I did it. And it kind of kept me a little bit where to avoid just going too crazy with purchasing evaluation accounts, where I was just trying to limit myself to only one or two a week. And I think at one point I actually did, did increase then to where I had two evaluation accounts per week. Um, but just, I was just my tip for kind of a bonus tip, but hopefully this video makes sense. I, we're at 23 minutes already and I'm not sure how, um, I did not plan on it taking this long to go through this, but here we are. Uh, thank you everyone for your support, your subscriptions. Um, appreciate it. There's also obviously a uh, code above if you choose to use it. I would really appreciate it. It does support the channel. Thank you. And I also do uh, use the Replicanto trade copier. If you're interested in that, it is 20% off if you use the code NuttyBar20. So I really do appreciate all the support. Thank you, everyone. Everyone have a great rest of your day and God bless.